there, Freddy. Come on, buddy. Good morning. Look at him. He's ripping and ready to go today. Come on, Fred. Let's go potty. Go potty. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Woo! Well, it is 4 a.m. Well, wait, wait, wait. Good morning, y'all. It is 4 a.m. I am in West Texas, the big old state of Texas. Fred and I, we're here, and we're with my buddies Cole and Trevor of Tornado Country Outfitters. I was only able to warn y'all on the end of one video. I'm like, hey, I'm going to Texas. It was kind of on a whim thing. It was like a, hey, let's just go. Cole and Trevor have been telling me that I need to get down here, and we are finally here, y'all. We got uh, a few days of hunts planned here. Today, uh, we're gonna be hunting lessers. Texas lessers in a wheat field. It's gonna be nothing but dark socks today. I'm so excited. Massive, massive dark sock spread today, y'all. And then what I really, really came down here for and what you guys have requested a ton is a good old Sand Hill crane hunt. Yeah, crane hunting though. I've never crane hunted and y'all have been requesting it a ton. That's what we're supposed to be doing Wednesday. So we're just going to put that away and wait till Wednesday, which today's Tuesday. So tomorrow will be the crane hunt. I'm excited for the crane hunt. I've never done it. I hear that it's pretty amazing. I hear that they're massive, they're slow, and they're really easy uh, to shoot because they can't get out of the kill hole fast enough. But now that we got the whole intro finished, me and Fred, we are here. But real quick, check what all I got going on here. Went and bought me a new leash for Fred, and I bought this right here. This is a pinch collar. This is what they call a pinch collar, and this is going to help Fred stop breaking. This here, when he pulls it, it applies pressure and it pinches him. Now, it's not cruel. He can only be cruel to himself. He's got to learn not to break. So we got that, and we're going to wait on that a little bit. But what we are going to do is I got a big old stake. Yep. And I bought a big old hammer as well. That way we can stake Fred down to the ground so he can't be breaking because on this hunt i'm not just going to be able to hold him the whole time i i will for a little bit but i want to shoot you know what i'm saying so he's going to be staked down he's going to be jerking that neck and hopefully the first time he jerks it he's like whoa whoa okay okay that that's not going to fly today i don't want him out here oh and mind you uh we're with clients so these guys do have clients in i got to meet them all last night uh half of them are her subscribers and uh, there's a 12 year old boy here with his grandpa and his dad. And uh, they're just amazing people. Uh, he's been subscribed for like two years. So we're gonna be with a couple of new subscribers. You guys will be able to meet them. It's gonna be a good little hunt today, y'all. Well, yeah, hello there, bud. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> In the truck just got done sitting in the decoys. Old Frederick, he don't know what to do. He's got old Sageton over here. He's got women everywhere. Well, I hope you can see my face. We got a uh, 10 to 12 mile an hour north wind. It's sitting right at 25 degrees out. Some reason down here in Texas, it just feels colder though. I, I don't know if it's like a wet wind or what's going on. But, whole Trevor here, what's the uh, decoy spread looking like today? Uh, well, we threw 110 dozen. Yeah. Um, dive bombs, socks and silos. I uh, got an edge hide. I ran the spread pretty long. Um, I mean, not too wide today, just ran it out and should, should be good should be good this is old cole though first time y'all ever met cole he, this might be the first time we met you too game Bobby. fair but yeah i don't know if i made the videos at game fair i, I don't <laughs> think i made one at game fair but this is trevor and cole uh they've been telling me to get my butt down here for a while and big shout out to tornado country outfitters that's who they work for that's yeah. who they work for they're the two main guides of the place if you guys want to uh, get a hold of them and book a hunt for 2020, 2021, what do they need to do? Just uh, get a hold of me or Cole. My number is 541-403-1414. 817-584-4488 or message us on Instagram. All down there. Go do it. West Texas Rodeo about to go down. Woo, look at this West Texas sunrise though. Woo, that's a beauty. See that flock to the left right there? Them snows? First flock of snows up. Trevor is like, we got a little while. These Canada's around here, they won't fly till 8, 8.30. 
with it being 27 28 30 degrees that's cold for texas you know what i mean i don't know this wind feels a lot different down here though your dad says you're a pretty good shot yeah Are you gonna prove it today yeah this is our 12 year old subscriber good to have you here today dude yeah thank you for coming <laughs> i'm here fred don't know come here dude come here calm it down it's almost time to get in the blind dude yeah look you're already tired man well check out the old blind situation we got one two panel blinds and then an a-frame and then like i showed you guys earlier check this out we got the stake in the ground and that is all the lead that old frederick gets today i don't want him breaking we got a lot of guns in the blind today you gotta be safe <laughs> I missed him. Sit. Good shot. Good shot. Oh. Well, old Fred's leashed down. Nope, nope, nope. Sit. Fred. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He just ripped the, the whole blind. Wow. Fred, dude. Okay. Oh, so a little update of what Fred did here. I let him off the old leash here and I tried to send him out that hole. And what he did was he just followed right along the blind and went, <laughs> blew all the brush off the blind, completely just clobbered everything. I'm gonna squeeze by it here. Yeah, he, uh, he's gonna have to get used to this situation today for sure because just destroyed the blind. That was a bad deal. Oh. Good dog, heel, right here, heel. Right here, heel. My bird, sit. Don't go running crazy, come on. Right here. Crazy dog. Dude, completely went gnarly on us, man. I shot horrible. Uh, three of us calling, four of us calling, right? Uh, we obviously sound really good, too. That was a bunch of birds. Uh, they spun on us, I don't know, three, four times, and they got down on us twice really nice, so. I shot horrible though. Absolutely horrible. All right, the usual. Bob is going to make a couple excuses here. Old Freddy, uh, on the leash, he was literally just slapping my leg. And I was trying to watch him to make sure he wasn't tearing down the blind. Kind of a pain in the butt, having him leashed down here. He just don't, he's so young, he just wants to go. Came here with the uh, plan that Fred is not going to get to go get every bird. You know what I mean? So on the next round, he's staying right here. So that's what we're going to do on the Texas hunts. He's going to go, he, he, he gets to go sometimes, put it that way. This guy, he knows he's trying to, he's trying to cuddle with me and make up, but little stinker. This dog, look at him. He's like, Dad, I'm sorry. I know, dude. I know. The uh, pinch collar here, this deal, he definitely don't like that. 
Again, it's for his own good. It's not punishment, just for his own good. Well, old Bennett. Blind looks good. I mean, I don't think it can look much better, right? Spread. Today we're using them dive bombs. Canada Silos, Canada Socks, looking good. Old Trevor, he's got nothing but flock Silos. I think I got 20 dozen flock, 20 dozen non-flocked. I'll tell you what, having all flocked looks, it looks really good. But I'm in the keel, the keel hole. What's your idea? You just making more families and kind of spreading out as the day progresses or what? Yeah, I mean, we're hitting super well. These birds are really shot up. I mean, there's a group of guys behind us that are shooting birds that like, they literally shot at a flock of six geese that were 150 yards in the air. And 150 yards? I mean, they, they probably watched my videos. <laughs> just, just kidding. They are smart. You weren't lying. Well, Trevor earlier, he was like, dude, I'm gonna warn you. Texas birds, we can kill a bunch of them, but they're not easy. You gotta outsmart them, man. All right, birds on the way, boys. Frederick, you better just sit right there. Good. There we go. There we go. Good job, Fred. Here, Fred, here. Dead bird, let's go. Here. Fred, here. Let's go. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Here. Let's go. Good dog. That's a good boy. Here. Heel. Heel. Sit. Here. Sit. Nope. Sit. I don't know if there's any more. Dead bird, dead bird. Uh, he said, Dad, I'll go check you if you send me. <laughs> he did good that time. He didn't rip the whole blind apart. No bird, come here. They did it nice. They did it all right. That was a big group. I was digging it. No, yeah, I was too. That was a really big, really big group. Wow. So uh, that group was actually headed back to water. It is 1030. Uh, the birds didn't even start flying until it was like nine. I think we got into our first group at 9.15, second group probably 9.30, now it's 10.30, and boy howdy, we just tricked them. We tricked them on the way back to water, didn't we? Man, I saw this field last night, or yesterday at like 11.30, got done with the duck hunt, scouting all morning, and swung by this thing, and dude, it might have been 10.30 before they even started getting in this thing the whole Look entire it, dude, time. It's a quill, right. it's a quill! I guess that's going. Oh, quill leg! Quill! <laughs> oh! Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Check this out. So we had a sailor that went, what, 300 yards-ish? I don't know, man, that was a long that was, way. That might have been 400 yards. Old Sageton, Trevor's dog, she just went and got a long one here. But a hawk was on it. Look what a hawk did to it. Wasn't out there more than, I don't know, probably five, 10 minutes. Hawk absolutely annihilated it. The old West Texas ways. Calling how you hold your tongue. <laughs> 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 more four more good shooting boys good shooting good Woo! that was a late group right there boys nice oh trevor's going nah come back come back good fred here let's go fred here fred here let's go well, come on fred what the fred here let's go dude Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Here, here, here. Here. Right here, right here. My bird. Get them. Woo! That group. Boy, howdy. That was out of nowhere. It's late. What time is it? 11.42. 11.42 and that group just gave it all. Woo! Here. Here. Set. Right here. Heel. Set. 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 My bird. Good boy. 
Old Fred, he's doing good. He's doing good. Yeah, they did it. They were all the way in here. So Trevor and the boys, they opened up this kill hole and holy smokes, they did it right in here. They all died like right here, right here. That was beautiful. Did you get, did you get one, dude? That's a little short beak there, look at him. Little guy. He's about your size. <laughs> That's a good boy, Frederick. Look, you got some battle blood. There you go, there you go. Well, uh, this morning, uh, we were sitting at a whopping, what, 27, 28 degrees. And right now, it's already warmed up to 50 degrees. What would you say, 54? 54 degrees. Holy smokes, I am sweating out here. Sweating them bullets. Well, all pickered up here. Look at the nice little stack job going on here. It looks way better than my trailer, that's for sure. Mine's always just, you know, look like a bomb went off in it. Well, not a bad day though. Shot 17 total, not bad. I definitely got out shot by a 12 year old today. Like I said this morning, you're a good shooter, man. Yeah, what's I'm your, okay. What's your name and where are you from? I'm named, my name is Gavin Peebley. I'm from Utah. From Utah. Yep. You guys shoot a lot of ducks out there, a lot of teal, huh? Yeah. Mainly what you do? Mm-hmm. How long you been watching the channel? Uh, for like one and a half years. Really? One and a half years? Man, it's good to have you, man. I'm yeah. glad you're here. Glad it's to good. meet you, too. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's been too. a good day. Mm -hmm. He completely crushed me today. I think I shot maybe one today, dude. How many did you shoot? Three? Four? Yeah, three. Three? Yeah, he got me. Yeah. Old Freddy. He was, a, he was a decent boy today. Hey, Bobby. Cole Burford here. You left your camera in here. So I'm having a little bit of fun with it. Me and Trevor. Trevor, say hi to the people. Hey, people. <laughs> yeah, you know, just out here living our best lives. Uh oh, Freddy, look what I got you. Oh, look who's happy. He's like, oh, I'm thirsty, Dad. You had a long day, huh? Well, back here in the motel, I haven't got to really show you guys the old motel situation. Check it out. We got a nice little front room here going on. Oh, yeah. Got a couch, got the computer where I'm going to be editing later. Our one TV, little microwave, and then my bed where I slept last night. Oh yeah, sink and a bathroom. Nothing too crazy. Just a normal old Texas motel, you know? Just for me and old Frederick. Frederick, uh, so I had him leashed up this morning. Uh, I drove in the stake, I had him leashed down, and boy. Um, I think leashing him down if we were laying in the decoys wouldn't be such a bad thing. He couldn't mess up the blind. The thing with the leash um, and, and being staked to the ground was that he still wanted to go. You know what I mean? Um, he still wanted to go, so I, I shortened that leash. It's a six foot leash, but I shortened it down to only like two foot. I kept him restricted. But he wrecked the blind every time and I finally looked at Trevor and I'm like uh, Your dog Sage when do you do you send her or do you kind of let her go after the shot? And uh, he was like I just let her go after the shot So what I started doing was I, I showed Fred to go out of the back of the a-frame That way he was gonna have to go around the whole thing and by the time he got up front the geese the birds would be gone So that's how we ran Fred today. It worked well at first, he hated being staked down. Again, I think if I staked him down laying in the decoys, he couldn't mess that much up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but man, at the beginning, it ruined my shooting. I could not shoot well at all. Not remotely at all. When I was saying Gavin outshot me, the 12-year-old, he definitely <laughs> outshot me today. But what an awesome subscriber. What an awesome dude to meet him and his dad. They're big fans and they've been subscribed to the channel for so long. It's just so cool to go on these hunts. Uh, there was more than just them that were there today that knew who I was and were subscribers and fans and viewers. So just so awesome being able to hunt with my viewers. It's so cool when I get to do this. But Texas is treating us good. We uh, we shot 70 today, not bad. 17, not 70. Old Frederick, he made him a couple new dog friends. Oh yeah, both girls. 
and one of them is in heat so we got to kind of keep them two separated you know what i mean but i hope you guys are liking the texas hunts it's a little different down here a ton warmer the geese fly way later than at home and the wind the wind is in abundance that is one of the main factors one of the main reasons why texas goose and crane hunting so good now they have an abundance of birds sure but that wind Ooh. be sure if you want to book a hunt down here my boys trevor and cole hit them both up on instagram right here that's one of the easiest ways to do it send them a dm be like yo i want to come down i want to hunt with y'all i want to shoot cranes we are shooting cranes tomorrow so stick around for that video y'all oh i can't wait Y'all have been requesting that I get out on a crane hunt, and believe me, I'm. that's why we're here. That's the main reason why we're here is for these cranes. But make sure you hit that notification bell down low and subscribe if you haven't. If you guys like this video, please, please, please. I didn't tell you to in the whole video, but I really need y'all to smash the thumbs up button for me. It lets me know y'all like these videos. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that